today's video, we're opening every 2014 Mega Tin ever made. What's up, guys? We're back with another every tin opening from a specific year, and this year is 2014. So it's crazy to think that this was 10 tins ago. It's hard to say those back to back, but it's not quite 10 years since then, but it is 10 different tins since then because we've already had the 2023 for this year. So crazy how long it's been for these. I don't think I've ever actually opened the, I'll probably have maybe once or twice, but maybe one of the two. I'm not really sure. It's been so long and I just don't really recognize these. I mean, here's the thing. One of these actually contains, which is this one, the Susanoa, which if you guys remember, we pulled this in ulti so many times and it is just not a good card, but inside there are a lot of awesome packs. I mean, by a lot, I mean, three whole packs. I know, crazy. This was actually the first year where they started doing the Mega Packs 2014. So they've been doing them for 10 years at this point. Before we actually get into the 10 opening, we have a giveaway. I'll be giving away these three promo cards, Skull Dice, Negate Attack, and Metal Zoa. Just like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications. Let me know your favorite of the 2014 10s. Guess how many there are to choose from? Here we go, guys. Here is every 2014 Mega 10 ever made. There's only two of them. And I just told you there's only three packs per. So this is a six pack opening. Yeah, six packs. So to make this a little bit longer, I did grab some of our favorite set, the thing we've been hunting for, the Dark Magician, for probably like a couple months now. I and mean, we've already pulled it before, but I'm on like a new hunt to pull another one. So still have not gotten a PSA 10, so maybe one day we'll pull one. So I am going to start off with some Ghosts from the Past because, you know, not a very large opening here. Normally, like in the original 2002, we had six 10s. There was five packs each. Now we have two 10s, three packs each. So went from 30 packs for the opening to... Uh, simply six, so it's not that crazy. Remus, that's a good card. Okay, nice start. Not bad at all. I'm gonna do another Ghost from the Past, and then we will break into the uh, the Fire Fist one first, I think. Susanoo, the cursed card. Uh, we'll, we'll end it, I think. We'll see if the Susanoo was crazy. I don't, I didn't realize Susanoo was a promo in a tin until I actually, I've had this tin for like a few months, and then I looked at it, I'm like, what, what monster is this? And I looked on the back and I was like, no way. Okay, Ghost from the Past, I believe in you. 2014, I don't even really know what we can pull, because like, it's kind of a weird era i mean is there like dragon ruler era stuff i mean because dragon rulers were the tens before so maybe a little bit after that i don't really even know what it would be orchestrated return and speaking of not knowing where's the ghost rare dark magician where's any ghost rare out of these i have not pulled a ghost out of ghost from the past one i can't even remember it's been so long so i would like to change that up cosmo tin can time thief hack we have the hieratic sun dragon overlord of heliopolis hieratic seal of banishment not a lot Oh, not a lot in that in that name at all. Just completely short. Very easy to say. Not making it hard on me at all. Totally normal. Hieratics, I love them. We have the Art Brave Dragon. We have the Metaphors Ori Calc. Ori Calco. <laughs> Ori Calcos, but short. Uh, Fogblade is recent. It used to be a three dollar card. It's all the way down to like ninety cents now, unfortunately. Uh, Gigantus, and we have another Remus. So two Remus already. That's five packs. Nothing too insane there. So let's go ahead and check out this Brotherhood of the Fire Fist 10, which if we just take a quick scan of it, Brotherhood of the Fire Fist, very cool looking. The back says 2014 Mega 10. This Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Tiger King 10 includes three 2014 Mega 10 packs. Oh, the Platinum Secrets. Yeah, these are the Platinum Secret Rares. Ooh, yeah, I'm actually excited about this. This is a rarity that is coming back in the Rarity Collection, which is actually pretty crazy. So these 2014 10s are actually, you know, a rarity that we haven't seen in a very long time, and that's coming back later this year. And speaking of, we might have a discount code for Rarity Collection with Sassy Auto. I think we're gonna have it by the time you see this video, so go check it out. Discount code, whatever it is, I don't know what it is yet. You'll get 5% off order through that link and i get an affiliate it helps everybody out sassiato me you guys it's pretty awesome so go check it out let's open this tin up i have not opened a 2014 mega tin maybe ever i think maybe i have at some point opened the susanoa or something but I, it's been a really long time since i've opened these these are kind of the era where I just don't really know much about the tins. And the thing is they made them gigantic too. Like on Yugipedia, it actually said they're 15% larger, which is kind of, I don't know how they know that like exact number, but it's a lot bigger. I don't really know why. We have the pendulum monster cards, very nice. And by nice, I mean terrible. Nobody wants those pendulums. Hey, look, I got to use this, how to pendulum summon. This was an era when people were like, I'm out. I don't know, I don't know anything about this pendulum crap. I hear that all the time. They're like, I played Yu-Gi-Oh. So those ones where it was like a monster and a spell at the same time came out and then I quit. So yeah, there's the pendulums. Check this out. Oh 
Brotherhood, the Fire Pits, Tiger King. I love these. I think they look so cool. They're way too much, probably, like just too much going on, but I still love them. We gotta get an up close and personal look at these promos. Let's open this thing up. I didn't read what the uh, other promos were because it's not just one promo like we do these days, you know, well, better than zero still, but this year we only had one promo. We didn't have multiples. Beautiful, look at that thing. That thing's so cool. I love it. I'll we'll take another look at that in a minute. We have a, okay, they're Fire Fist, Gorilla, not crazy, and Nightmare Shark. So a couple of supers, we'll take it. Now this thing looks insane. I don't remember the Susanoo in this. Maybe when I see it, it'll ring a bell, but yeah, de definitely has some stuff on the back. So it's not like PSA 10 worthy, but very awesome looking card. Let me know in the comments. I wanna hear your opinion on these cards. I think they did these in 2014 and 2015. We will be opening the 2015 10s very soon, so we'll get to see those as well. Okay, Megaton 2014. I remember they used to put these in like mystery boxes that I used to buy in like 2018, because it had been like four years since then. So they were kind of old or whatever, and these were the ones that they put in there. But nowadays they are 10 years old. It's crazy to believe that. I mean, that is insane. We have the Avatar. Let's go, Sonic Boom. We have Dorodo, do 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 do. There we go, not Dorodo. We have Mummy, Sky, Starship, Skyplane. I can't speak. We have the P Sylvan Peacekeeper. I love that. The Sylvan Hermitry. A lot of Sylvan. Yeah, Sylvans were good in 2014. That makes sense. Oh, and an Evil Storm Exaton Knight. I can't say it, but that was a huge card at the time. So this is a probably one of the best pulls, you know, back then. I don't know value right now in terms of the best pull, but Ghost Rig Mary, super rare. So this is like Mega 10, you know, it's obviously like legendary collection and everything. You get one of all the rarities. Cold Wing! Remember when this got banned? It was so sad because we talked about it was two bucks every time and then it got banned. Evil Swarm Exiton Knight, not bad. Not bad at all. We'll take that. Brotherhood of the Firefest Wolf coming up next. This is like an era I think people really liked. Uh, I know people are still playing it. There's some terrible things about it, but I always hear people like nostalgic for it. So it might have sucked at the time, but I, I hear it sucked at the time. But I think people really like just enjoyed it because it was like good times for playing Yu-Gi-Oh or whatever. We have Ghost Trick Go Around. The cover card of the other 10. Ujinte Susanoo. There it is. All right. We have an ultra rare. Brotherhood of the Fire Fist Coyote. Okay. Having Fire Fist is not the best because they're not very good at the moment. And uh, Gear Gear. That's a super. All right. Any cool. The Calibrator. Watch out for him. Any more commons or nay? King of the Feral Limbs. I didn't realize that was such an old card. And Malaseverus Spoon. Have the Malaseverus cards ever been good? Because I love them. I think they're super cool. All right, final pack of this 2014 Mega 10. Then we have the Susanoo. We also have a few more Ghosts from the Past to open up. We have Ghost Trick Scare. I know people love Ghost Tricks. Uh, Gorgonic Golem. Where's the Gorgonic Guardian? Is that the Xyz? That's That was good in Duel Links. Vampire Kingdom. We have Cheep Cheep Cheep. Watch out. Baby Raccoon Panboko. Mind Drain. We have Bujingi and Raven and Ultra. Xyz Encore. Okay, this is not a crazy one. Xyz Encore. And oh, a Divine Dragon Knight Felgrin that they reprinted. It, it was in Shadow Spectres as a secret and Nulti and a ghost. And then they made it another secret. Kind of weird, but very cool. We'll take it. I think that's decent. And a uh, Churubime, a princess of the autumn leaves. Very nice. Wow, that's a uh, pretty odd. Monarchs Awakened, good card. Intercept Tomato, there we go, Yu-Gi-Mo. And the Mecha Phantom Beast Stealth Ray. And our Ruxa Special Pass, the Secret Sec Druid Drew. Very, very cool card. And we also still have more Ghosts from the Past before we get to the next 10. That was actually pretty fun. I kind of liked, a lot of those cards are kind of decent. Okay, we have the uh, Gear Town. Mind Mole, oh, watch out, the Underminer. Emergency Teleport, that's like three bucks. We have the Time Thief and Necroz of Arib here. Nothing too crazy there. So looking for that Ghost Rare in the 2014 opening. Let's just throw it back to 2014. They still had Ghosts and Ultis in main core sets at the moment, or uh, at that moment. Hieratic Seal of the Ashes and uh, Laval Archer. Three more packs here. We're going to go to our final 10 of the two 10s. Yeah, yeah, they kind of took away, you know, they're not as many options, you know, as they had back in the day. I'm struggling to speak here. We have Mass Change, Manolche, Gear Town, and a Meteor Black Common Dragon. Two packs to go. Two packs left of the Ghost from the Past. One, not two. We have Metafalls, Volflame, Hieratic Seal. That was a Ruxin special. We have Hieratic Dragon, Hieratic Sun Dragon, Overlord of Heliopolis, and the Dragoonity Club. Ah, come on! Last Ghost from the Past pack we have for the day. Will there be last pack magic? 
Will there be a $500 Dark Magician? Sunbite Healer, let's go. Time to fly back. Hiyosaru! Cosmojo, and... <laughs> We're gonna get a ghost eventually, okay? But that's okay, that's not the point of this video. Let's take a quick look at the Susanoo. Okay, we don't really care about you, Susanoo. We already pulled you. Literally, before the tin was open, we pulled you. I mean, this will be the cool version, the Platinum Secret Rare, though. So, let's get this thing out. Let's open up these packs. Let's see what we can pull. We already pulled Exiton Knight and a Felgrand. I feel like those are two of the better secrets. So, uh, it's gonna be hard to match that. Let's see what we got inside. Will we learn how to play Pendulums again? We will! Let's go! We'll learn how to play Pendulums. Okay, here's our Susanoo. Beautiful platinum secret rare. I love it. Starlight before the starlights, basically, in platinum version and diagonal. Come on, open up. Open up, buddy. There we go. Very nice. All right, the Susanoo. Beautiful. I love it. Back then, people didn't like super shiny cards. They said the same thing about starlights, but I think people are more accepting this. Super shiny now. Bajinki Crane. Oh, are they different? Is there like a, a pool of what the promos can be? Because these are completely different. Bujingi Crane, pretty good for Bujins. And Archfiend Commander. I don't think I've ever seen Archfiend Commander before. Okay, three packs, Megaton 2015. Here we go. Three more chances at something crazy. Come on, get out of here. Bujingi Ophidion, it's got a damaged ding right in the middle already. Gaga Ga Wind, Ruxin Special. We have Dedodo Buster. Gila Gilancer, Mythic Tree Dragon. Five Brothers Explosion. Hidden Temples of Necro Valley, and we have the Mecha Phantom Beast, Aerosquine, Aerosquine, it's like a big penguin thing, balloon, and we have, ooh, a Star Eater! We get some really sweet secrets out of here. Star Eater also, you know, had a secret rare in Judgment of the Light, but still very cool, and uh, Talia, Princess of Cherry Blossoms. Why do I feel like this is worth something? It might be, that might be a decent card, and then the Black Dragon, Collapse Serpent. Super Defense Robot Elephant, Vampire Grace. Oh, okay. Dual Links and uh, Malice Ever Spoon. Two Megaton 2014 packs left. Let's go. Let's see what we can get. Umbral Horror Unform. Gorgonic Ghoul. We have Ambusher. Giga Tag. Ghost Trick Yeti. Get those, <laughs> get those feet out of here, man. Oh my goodness. Put those suckers away. We have the uh, Black Falcon. Bujingi Raven. Bujingi Sukiyomi. All right, watch out, Naruto. And we have Grandmark, the Mega Monarch. That's a cool card. This is where you can get the Ryza, the what the Mega Ryza, the whatever the upgraded version is. That was crazy with, I guess it was Flu. It was like a $70 card for a while. I remember I found one. It was 50 cents before, and then went up to 70. And then Bujingi Pabo. I that was pretty amazing. Found like two of them, I think. It was pretty awesome. You know, to find 150 bucks, you know, it used to be a dollar, now it's 150. All right, final pack. Let's do this. Let's see what we can get. Been pretty good pull so far, I would say. Pump Princess, the Princess of Ghosts. I specifically remember this one from early, early Duel Links when I was first back into Yu-Gi-Oh! It was very fun. Umber Horror Unform, Ghoul, Aerial Recharge, Mermail, Super Defense Robot Monkey, Sylvan Co Mushroom, and we have the Mecha Phantom Beast Blue Impala. I don't think I've I've probably seen it, but I don't remember this card. And the Brotherhood, the Fire Fist Cardinal. Maybe a good Fire Fist? I don't know. And then the Yaksha, another dueling special for the Sacred Phoenix deck. Very cool. Okay, Gosher Jangchi, Skeleton, Wolf, and the Mythic Water Dragon. All right. If you guys enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Also, check out the playlist called Opening Every, which is a lot of videos where I've opened every of something, every pack ever made, every 2002 tin ever made, all that stuff like that. So go check that out if you guys haven't seen those videos. Shout out to Tonefo Show, Daxter, Tomato Juice, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, America Doyster, Supreme Sage 21, CJ, and then a Tai Show, Ian Moosey Jr. Barding, Robert F., and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.